Hey and welcome to a new, or perhaps a replay, of Eye of the Beholder. This time it will be for the Sega CD, which I have not played much, only very briefly. Let me see, I am using um, emulation for, uh, for the Sega CD and I will be using the controller. I've got the Xbox 360, I still need to figure out the controls properly on how to play it. This version was released in 1994 and published by Sega. So let's start. Well, of course, this is a dungeon crawler, a uh, grid-based dungeon crawler. If you ha you should already hear about this. And if you're watching it on, on my channel, I assume you've also seen my other playthroughs of, of it, whether it be a speedrun, a single player character or a full playthrough. I still don't know how I will approach this one, if it will be a 100%, well, most of it level by level, or... Um... We, the Lords of Waterdeep, have gathered to purge our city of an ancient evil. Give call to the heroes of the land, and let us choose our champions. Master, they think they have found a solution. We commission you to find the nature of this evil, and destroy it if you are able. Prepare for the dangerous journey. Begin your search below the city. Their fates are sealed. game interrupted me as I was talking. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be doing a full play playthrough or my regular jumping between portals for a pretty quick finish, but we'll see. And yeah, this is voice acted all the way. How do I? Yes, yes. I will be playing a pretty standard party, I think. Let's go with a human... Pa I want a paladin, fighter, thief, Mage and Cleric. Well, Cleric and Mage, basically. Lawful good. And the portraits look totally different on to what they used to before. Hmm. Where's my favorite Paladin? I don't see that person. But, oh well. This will be our Paladin. Modify. Can I modify? I can. Oh boy. Incoming 100 clicks. Oh well. Yes, I am playing this on an emulated, uh, well, emulated version of of the game with with uh, basic gamepad controls. I know that Scum VM machine can you can set it up to play Sega games, well, Sega CD, Eye of the Beholder version, and you can fully use keyboard and mouse. I don't want to start that way. I want to feel how the game actually controls using the controls back in the day. Yes, I'm going with a fully buffed party for for a quick experience of the game. 42? 42. Uh, Real roll modify keep. Oh boy. Who do, will this be? Uh, oh, this should, should have been a female character. Oh, well. 
So I will be the leader of the party, if that's the case. Next. Okay. And this will be a... Let's make it a gnome, fighter thief, chaotic and neutral. Sure, why not? Another hundred clicks, this will be the only annoying... Can I hold it down? I cannot hold it down, unfortunately. Uh, yes, I will not be using ScumVM with the mouse and keyboard. I will be definitely replaying it this. I want to see how fast can you actually complete the Sega CD version of, uh, of the game using mouse and keyboard. As for the regular version, I don't think the GNOME was a wise choice. We'll see. Maybe it would have been better. Uh, as the regular uh, DOS version, managed to complete in under six minutes and at this point of recording uh, I am currently listed as the fastest uh, fastest runner on, on speedrun.com so this will be Ragnar what's next is it like space oh oh no we are going only with capital letters this will be a half elf, but a female character, a pure cleric, love neutral. Hmm. I don't remember the, the portraits I used before. There aren't that many. They look very similar to each other, but we'll play with you. You don't really need strength in, in, in the back, uh, in the back row. Was it always strength, intelligent, wisdom, dexterity? I thought that it's strength, dex, wisdom, uh, intelligence, constitution, and charisma at the very bottom. Seems kind of different than usual. Maybe, maybe uh, that's how it was. This will be E. Oh, S T E. R. And for our final party member, a male elf, chaotic neutral. There isn't. I think you you will do. You're the greeniest character in in the party. And the, by greeniest, I mean as it was in in Stonekeep, because. Our favorite goblin-like creature will make his return. Keep. And that is Wahooka the Great. Hmm. That was enough. Good. Play. Yeah, the loading screens might be something that I need to get used to. Why do you look like you're missing a hit point already? Oh, we've got a map. I haven't seen that before. Beep. Yes, I'm recording during the day. Oh, oh. I need to find what that is. I have no idea. Now... Okay, so map will be uh, not used too much because it takes a moment to to to, to load speed. Oh, very nice. Can I, I can move it even quicker? Very good. Music mode. I have no idea what the modes are. Uh, pray. It's too low for a uh, spells. That which is of course correct. Cure, make that three. I want, I want. Well, I never use the level two spells. Nothing on level level three just yet. Magic missile, magic missile, melts acid arrow, and that's it. So let's start by resting. Oh, I think I know what the modes are. Maybe it's. Maybe it's on how... Okay, I'm using the... 
A button on my controller for picking up. The B button is for a quicker movement. And the X, I have no idea what. It pretty much shares the same usage as, as the A button. I can hold start to move with, with, with the control pad, which is a bit weird. Or even select, but... Oh, wait! What the? No! Start toggles it! Really? I need to, I need to work it out. Mode 3. Oh, mode 3 is like... Only points to the, to the actual places where you want to... Uh, move the cursor. Now I hold... Hold down the start and it... Only when I hold it down, it doesn't, it doesn't toggle. Select doesn't do anything. So let's switch to mode one, I think. Mode one, thank you. I need to work those out. Okay, holding down the start is the thingy. Select doesn't do anything. And I think... Okay, so those are different things. Go here. Both of them are examining, but X is picking it up and A is actually smacking it. And B is doing nothing. So mode 2 it will be. I want it to be toggable. So I want the lockpicks. I have lockpicks. I will not be resurrecting probably any other character, but we'll see. And here's our first enemy. A cobalt, and, and as you can see, it's animated a lot different than it was on uh, on the, the doors, uh, DOS or Amiga version. I need to bless myself. I do recall most of the game when playing, like. Oh, the music is very nice. I do recall most of the dungeons. Oh, they are even standing in in the sewer. You can tell by, by the water effect. Very cool. I need to remember I can just zoom zoom with the cursor. It will be a lot to get used to. No. Nope. Also, give me that maze. Give me. Good. You don't have an extra weapon. Too bad that you cannot uh, sidestep in, in this mode. Maybe if I press some other button. Release the key, uh, the control. Oh, this will be a lot of pain. Good. How do I close it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Plenty of daggers. I will be needing those later on. Nearly 100% drop rate so far. I want to explore as much as I can. Because this is a brand new experience for myself. Oh yes. I think that the music is, a bit, uh, is actually a bit too loud for... And was that a level? That might have been a level. Pray. Yes, that was a level. I somehow missed that. Game. Oh, wrong button. Weird. I was certain I was using the same one. Memorize. Because I don't know who leveled. It went too quick. Resting not needed. Yes, I know. Thank you, game. Me or did it get a bit greener in here? Aha! Uh -huh. Secret! Oops, wrong button. I already have one issue with moving with with the, with the toggle. Can I cannot move like that? It's when I want to disable it. 
and the monster is attacking me, it doesn't register the disable until a moment later. Until they stop attacking. So I need to do it just before they manage to land a hit. I will not bother with the daggers anymore. Plus, this will be used soon enough. No, stop swapping. Aha! Uh -huh. I've been taken from... Whoa! I actually look at, at their animation. That is pretty cool. But the magic missile is still slow. Fair enough. Update map of this level! Really? I will let it load one more time. Let's see, where did I see? I, I see the dark are the squares that I can travel through. So I went here. 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 Here was the secret. I wonder if it... I, I think it will still show the secret if I wouldn't go there. There should have been a wall. Those are the walls that, uh, depending on which path you, ch you choose at the beginning, it will be either open or closed. Mm -hmm. So I can go this way. And then off to the exit. Very good. So, um, I was, I think, at the bottom left corner, that's where the red dot was blinking. So, if my assumption is correct, that will be the minimap on every level. Hey, guys. Oh, no, you. Whoa. Is that detect magic by any chance? It is. Very nice sound effect. I totally wanted to try that. Oh, sure, I did. Okay, so you're opening and closing, not affected by... by the dagger itself. Yep, that's the other path I could... could have taken. I don't need rations. That's towards the exit. There should be a few more enemies, I think. Oh no, that's the locked door from the other side. So we are heading towards the level 2. I may actually split it in between, like, uh, level per episode or something. We'll see. Probably not, because that's just too much hassle. Maybe the shield is actually, wo actually worth using in this game. No, wrong button. I still need to get used to, to the mode 2. I think. That's what caused the problems. I pick you, I drop you. And the pressure plate did not move. Click. Down we go. Even sound, e sound effects for that. Starting with the obvious choice. Yeah, I'll go through all of those. I, I'm actually in no hurry. Shield, shield. I already have shield, and so I don't need that. Turn undead. One and two. And I did notice that in this version of the game, I will drop the daggers in those. In this version of the game, dagger fits. I don't recall the special quest for the first level if there even was one. Um, in this version of the game. Game. Thank you. What's the word that I was looking for? I don't remember even. And this version. Wh where was I going with that? Look here? No. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yes. Um, the maze. I know that in some versions of the game, the maze doesn't. Yay, someone leveled. That's the only... Can I look up the history? I know that in some versions of the game you cannot uh, deal full damage to monsters with with blunt weapons. Like, only I think skeletons or undead are affected by full damage. And most monsters are just... Meh, screw that. Can I hold down any of the other buttons? No. So I cannot sidestep using the controller only. Oh, 
Oh nice, I can kill, keep my mouse on... On screen like that. Oh. Like that. Just open the final path. Fin final door, rather. There's a potion of healing downstairs. Well, down the hall, but I don't need it. I will be getting it uh, anyway. Party forces the door open. What do you mean? Turn undead. See, that was four damage with with a sword. That wasn't definitely a full score. There are two ways of opening opening this door. One is throw something, and the other one is shoving in the dagger. Button on the wall. First, open the door. Oh, come on. I don't think there's more of them here. Yay, another level. We'll be gaining plenty of those. And I need the Potion of Giant Strength. Because... Um, because you will see in, in not so distant future, probably in a couple episodes, I don't really need this key. But well, Hookah, you'll grab all of the stone items. Uh, just to let you know, the testing that I did for this game was up to end of uh, first level. And I took the other path, which I don't usually take. Aha! Uh -huh. Secret, once again. Yay, special quest completed! Potion of extra healing, and the reward for this special quest is patience at every of those dagger hole holes. Oh, I remember the secret on the uh, on the first level. There's a uh, alcove that you need to place a dagger in, and you will receive. Uh, I don't think it's Ginsu. It's either plus three or plus four uh, weapon. Uh, no, that's towards the exit. I don't want to go there yet. A map of this level. I was about to say, I don't remember an item laying in this place. And this is one of the paths that you need to take for for the speedrun, so I would notice that. Now, oh, plenty of skeletons. Let's see if I deal full damage. 11 and 5. Yep, so... Maces work against skeletons, so it is like I thought. Oh, that was a quick removal of the undead spell. I don't need the bow. I will not be using any ranged weapons. I might use them if I decide to... Uh, to replay this with keyboard and mouse, because the controls with, uh, with the controller are... Really, really different. AC4, I didn't look if the helm grants any bonuses. Of course it doesn't. For whatever reason, the helmet does not give any AC defenses in this game. Maybe it's for critical hits related stuff. But I never noticed a crit critical hit in this game. Of course, wrong button. Yeah, I will not be using shields anymore. Mage Scroll of Invisibility. I need like one or two more before I scribe them. Those are spells that will not get much use. So much misses. Here should be a secret passage. There it is. Hey, levels! That was surely more than one. Also, this is not the only dungeon crawl crawler available on on Sega CD. I also seen and even tried Dungeon Master 2, but oh believe me, it works so poorly. I think that 
it, I will not over, uh, exacer uh, exaggerate if I say it works as smooth as I have the beholder for the Commodore 64 or even slower because there's a lot to handle push very nice too bad that there is no indicator if I'm having if I have the controller set to move or to to the cursor move or to the party move. Uh, no. The elevator seems to move. I could go and do a level exploration and yeah let's do that i will not be get, getting everything possible in the game i will surely be getting uh oh, firefighters coming one second there we go they, they came and they went um I will definitely be grabbing what's it called? Fireball spell on the on the next level. I I don't feel even like using the spells. Dude, this one looks different or did I not pay attention to them at all? Wrong button. Yeah, it will be a pain to play with with the controller only. I may actually shorten this playthrough to whatever is mandatory because of that yeah that sounds like a very very good idea here's the exit for the next level I will be only getting the I think fireball spell and might do a le level by level playthrough using using mouse and keyboard but I'll leave that for for the next time. I'll try to keep those episodes shorter. This one's even shorter because of the party creation. Maybe that's how it will end up eventually, like 20 minutes episodes. We'll see. But for now, hope you guys are looking forward to this let's play as I am to record more of this version of the Eye of the Beholder. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.